race 22, the 6.5 million pound Melbourne Cup. You're on day two, week 13, the final week. So it's a two mile group one handicap as we're fully aware. Number one, Mickey Blue Eyes, Paul Rose, two, Polar Lee for Del Hinton, three, Stelioso for Darren Thompson, four, Wait Your Turn for Joshua Sutherland, five, Pine Barrens and Molly at Surfer, laid out for this race, six, Orpheus for Django, seven, Your Turn to Wonder, Joshua Sutherland, eight, Frostbite for Django, nine, Catra Sang for Paul Rhodes, ten is Stadio Olympico for Darren Thompson, eleven is I Say Goodnight. By now for Molly at Surfer, 12 Lee Meg for Del Hinton, 13 Rising Eagle for Dave Robertson, 14 Big Fine for everyone, 15 Christen, Christmas Fur for Graham, High Constable was Carl Arroganti, I think Carl Arroganti was at another horse, but they're already away. If you're drawn wide, you know how tough this race can be. Wait for it to settle down. Really, yeah, uh, this horse here, Big Fine, would like to get over towards the fence, but doing really well is High Constable, or Hay Constable, should I say, has taken it up as well as Ed Silver has moved. Well over towards the row now, and it's Hay Constable, and I don't want to say High Constable, but it's Hay Constable and Ed Silver that lead us by a couple of lengths to Big Fine, who also got over towards the fence and did really well from their wide draws. 31, 2, 3, out wider is Mighty Lady for Alex Chair, and inside of that is the second Carl Arrogant Hawks Javelin. Then towards the fence, we've got Lee Meg and Mickey Blue Eyes, the top weight, following those through and looking ominous. I'll wait your turn and your turn to wonder, and then poor second horse Catra sunk and against the fences. Darren Thompson, Stelioso has been running really well all season. And then uh, probably a length back to Christmas Fur. I say goodbye now. Stadio Olimpico, Frostbite, Polarly and Pine Barrens pretty much all together. And then we've just got Orpheus and I can't see Rising Eagles there. Sorry, and Orpheus. And then Funny Man is the one with just nosing in front. But with a mile and a quarter still to go, it's Hay Constable that takes him along by a length and a half to Ed Silver. And we're a couple of lengths back now to Mickey Blue Eyes. And one against the fence is Big Find. Wait your turns, pushed up there, Javelin's also running well, Mighty Lady, a little bit wide for Alex Cherry, Del Hinton's Lee Meg's also in there, the second, Josh Hall's your turn to wonder, Steliosa and Catra Sanka together, but going to get it a bit, bit boxed in, I should imagine, Christmas Fur looking for a bit of room as well, and a grey clutterbuck silks, and a length and a half back to the remainder, but up front it's Hay Constable that leads now, by a couple of lengths, we come down a mile from home, halfway through the Melbourne Cup, and it's Hay Constable that leads by two to Ed Silver in second, Mickey Blue Eyes, Javelin, Big Fine, Mighty Lady, Lee Meg, your turn to Wonders there, Stelioso, and then probably a length to Catrasank and Christmas Fur. Back over against towards the rail now, pushing through his Orpheus in the rear of the pack with Frostbite, Stadio Olimpico, Rising Eagle, I say goodbye now, Pine Barrens, widest, Polar Lee, and just Funny Man comes into shot with six furlongs to go, and it's Hay Constable. Going to be joined by a wall of horses, which are being led now by Big Fine against the fence is Ed Silver, but it's wait your turn, pushing through as well they're all waiting and waiting ominously to catch this leader Hey Constable that leads by a length now just a big find, Ed Silver against the fence on the outside of that is Lee Meg, a few of them being pushed along now but it's still Hey Constable running on really well from out of the pack comes Graham's, oh no, your turn to Christmas fur but as they line up with three and a half furlongs to go, there's a little bit more in the bend to come and it's Orpheus and Hey Constable, the these two now taking on Christmas Fur out wide. Pine Barrens, the one that had been laid out for it, but it's Orpheus of Django that leads us with two and a half furlongs to go. It's Orpheus from Pine Barrens. Your turn to wonder out wide. I say good night. Christmas Fur, Stay Olympico trying to run and rise an eagle. You can forget the rest. A furlong and a half left to run. It's Orpheus by a length and a half from Pine Barrens. Your turn to one. It's got nothing left. Orpheus is starting to even pull away further now. He's inside the furlong. It's Orpheus. Orpheus of Django is going to win it on his home turf. Orpheus is going to hang on and take this comfortably in the end. The jockey looks round. Cheeky little monkey. He's taken this easily. Orpheus takes it from Pines Barons and Frostbite. Might have even got up for second there. Could have been a Django. One, two. Big bucks stay in Australia. So Orpheus takes it. He does get second with Frostbite. So Orpheus takes it for Django. Well done. Second was Orpheus for Django. Third was Pine Barons and Molly at Surfer. And fourth, I say good night. Now for Molly at Surfer, so the Australians and Germans took all the money there with Josh just picking up a little bit of five place, fifth place money with your turn to wonder.